Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and you are watching Sartorial Styles. Today I have another unboxing for you, an unboxing of a Hocker Tea product. You probably know Hocker Tea from their very reasonably priced shirts and suits, but now they introduced another product to their portfolio, custom-made shoes. And uh, they were so generous to offer me to send me a pair of penny loafers. I didn't have to pay for them, but they also didn't pay me to tell you anything. So everything that I say in this video is my own opinion. Yeah, um, I think let's go. <laughs> So before we start unboxing this box, as always, let me tell you something about the process and about the shipping and taxes and all these things. So process first, as always, it's very good with Hocker Tea. They have a great website, uh, great design, great usability. I really, really like it. They are probably like leading in this field better than any other custom online suiting services or now also like um, shoe making service. Um, you can customize your shoes, you can choose different leather types, you can choose different soles, but that's already it. So it's not uh, custom sizing. You can choose from like standard sizes. I think you can also choose from multiple widths, but um, you cannot uh, measure your feet and have the shoes made to measure for you. So that's possible with their suits and shirts and also with the field jacket, for example, that I unboxed a couple of months ago but not with their shoes but that's also something that you cannot expect at this price point like a blake stitch shoe made in spain for i think it's 180 190 euros you will not find something like this made to measure so that's completely fine for me and i didn't expect that in the first place after I customized everything, I uh, placed the order on the 23rd of April 2021. They promised that the shoes will arrive in a matter of 18 days. As always with Hocker Tea, they didn't. Today is the 21st of May and they arrived today, so it took about a month, a little bit less than a month. That's how it always is with Hocker Tea. They never keep their promise they never keep the expectations when it comes to turnaround time means um, don't rely on what they say just just don't rely on what they say now i even have a collaboration with them uh, for making a video so they knew that i would talk about that in this video and they still didn't manage to deliver the shoes on time I personally don't mind at all. If my custom shoes take a month to arrive, they take a month to arrive. Like that's not a problem at all. But um, promising in the first place that it will take a lot less time is just not okay in my opinion. And that also applies to their suits and their shirts and to basically any other product. Something changed though, because these shoes are sent directly out of Spain. Most of the clothing is produced in China and they use DHL to ship it to Europe, to Germany in, in my example. Um, this was sent via UPS standard from Spain to Germany in two days. That was extremely quick. Um, the whole process was trackable. And that's kind of an upside because if you order suits from them, they are like sometimes trackable a little bit and then not and then they are again. So it's kind of um, like not um, the best shipping experience, let's say, like that. So that's definitely very nice. It also arrived in a very nice box, not one of these paper plastic bags that they normally use for um, their um, suits and shirts and overcoats and so on. So that's definitely nice. I'm very excited how these shoes will turn out and without further ado, I will start unboxing them now. <laughs> so as you can see, even even the box is Spanish. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have inside. Okay, very nice. We have a proper shoe box. That's nice. I really like that. It also has a nice hocker tee logo on it. It's like even it's it's not like like glued on it. It's very very nice. Very qualitative actually. Let's open this up. Uh -huh. 
That's how it looks. It's white from the inside. Very sturdy box, actually. I, I really like that because I um, like to use these boxes for um, traveling, for example. Like when I'm traveling with my car, I always like to put my shoes back in their boxes. And um, yeah, that just gives some protection, you know, that's very nice. Then we have a shoe bag made of canvas. Sadly, we have only one. I always like it better when there is um, one single shoe bag for every shoe, but um, having one shoe bag for both is definitely better than nothing. And we have a lot of Fogarty branding on here, on these white uh, thingies and also on the bag itself. And here we have the shoes. Um, they are wrapped into one of these plastic paper thingies. I already know that from like Undandy. I think Shoe Passion does that as well, so that's very common. Okay, here we go. And here we have shoe number one. It's a Blake stitched penny loafer, as you can see. And from like my, my, my first impression, very nice actually. Very nice leather sole with the stitching down here. And in general, the shape of the shoe, like it's slightly elongated the last. It's not like too exciting. Let's say exciting, like it's 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 not like super round and super interestingly shaped overall, but it's also not boxy by any means. Like um, you can definitely see that this is not a 400, 500, 600 euro penny loafer because um, a shoe like that would probably be like way. Um, yeah, it's hard to find words for that, but I think you know what I mean. Like the last would be. Um, way more precise and way more interesting in its shape but um, yeah overall the leather feels very well I can't see any like um, poorly made stitches or something actually the stitch density um, on the penny strap is extremely high I hope you are able to see that very nice we also have a little bit of paper in here oh, we have even more paper in here that I can't even really take out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we don't have any more paper in here. Very nice. Nice shoe, definitely. I'm very excited how um, these will fit. Let me just also um, take out the second one. I really like the leather to be honest, like it's um, it's kind of shiny, like um, it definitely mirrors a little bit what is uh, around me, also especially the light from, from the window um, that's basically uh, behind the camera, but it's not like super shiny or fake patina like, um, like it's, it's, it's very classic type of shine and uh, the leather is very sturdy actually. I expected it to be a little bit softer, but yeah, nice. The insoles are made of leather as well, by the way. And they also have a Hockerty logo on there. Nice shoe. Very nice shoe, actually. Um, after all, it matters how these fit because I use my like regular sizes uh, size that I always have uh, when it comes to dress shoes. That is UK8 or EU42, and these actually appear to be, to my eye, a little bit large, but. I don't really know. We will see. Oh, and by the way, we have um, one of these um, stitchings in the back. I always like these ones a lot because they give kind of a classic look and feel, classic shape instead of these um, things that are just like put on here. Uh, I hope you know what I mean. I, I'm not really into shoe terminology, but um, I think you can follow what I say. So um, without saying anything else, uh, let me just try these on. So here I am again, right now on screen, I'm showing you some more footage of these shoes on my feet and uh, my eyes didn't, um, yeah, fake me. 
I don't know. Um, because the shoes are indeed a little bit large. Um, yeah, that's that's not really like a huge problem because you can adapt to that. You can just like go one size down and then they will probably fit you very well because um, they, they seem to have a shape that would fit my uh, feet extremely good. But um, I should really have taken a, um, UK 7, UK 7.5 or U41 instead of my regular size. But I didn't know that because um, I think they said that they fit more or less true to size and um, they don't. Like compared to my shoe passion shoes and my even my undandy shoes and my um, Dita Kukulkorn um, penny loafers and even compared to Carmina shoes uh, like on Carmina last I have a UK 8 and that's always kind of the reference last for me. Um, so I think they should have said that uh, I should go one size down instead of going uh, for my regular size but I um, put my um, additional insoles from Undandy in there that I have because one of the shoes was too large as well and now they fit pretty well so um, with like some tweaks they are absolutely wearable for me but um, without these additional insoles these are too large definitely and I, I would not wear them uh, without these additional insoles but yeah with, with these soles it, it really works out uh, pretty well actually. So I am very excited what you think about these shoes. I think they look very good actually. Um, the quality of the leather is really nice. Um, also the quality of uh, the leather outsole. Um, you have to pay uh, additional fees for leather outsoles by the way. So I think the standard one is a leather and um, rubber mixture. But um, like that's not a huge problem. I think it's like eight or ten euros or something. So after all, if you want to order these shoes, I would probably recommend you to go one size down or at least a half size down if that's possible for you. And uh, then they are a very good pair of shoe from my first like experience uh, for the price actually. But I will definitely wear them a little bit more with uh, the insoles inside and um, I will probably show you like um, some more images of these shoes on my Instagram in my Instagram stories and um, will also tell you my experience after a week, after two weeks, after a month of wearing on my Instagram. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to follow my Instagram. You can find it down there somewhere and also in the video description. Up there I have two more videos from my YouTube channel for you and down there you can subscribe to it. So have a nice time and see you next week.